Peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. I want to share with you this morning uh, what the Lord has been putting in my heart and, and uh, reaffirming to me and, and teaching me today. And, and, you know, just, you know, what, what I've been meditating on and what the Holy Spirit has been teaching me. And I just want to say that uh, today, in these last days, most people are not following the true gospel. They are not truly following Jesus Christ. There are a lot of people professing to know him who do not know him. And you may say, well, how can you say who knows Christ and who, who does not? But the Lord told us that by their fruits, we would know them. That a good tree cannot bear bad fruit and, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. And the fruit of uh, professing Christians today are not fruits of the Spirit. Are not fruits that uh, Scripture teaches us would be visible in those who truly follow Jesus Christ. People today do not heed the words of Jesus Christ. They do not love his word. They do not follow him. To follow Jesus Christ is to hear his words and to put them into practice. I want to share with you uh, these words that Jesus Christ spoke. And he spoke these words in all four of the Gospels. I know that these words are very important. And, and that most people, even those who, who know these words that Jesus Christ spoke, most of them do not have a true understanding of what the Lord was teaching and what he was saying. This is uh, John chapter 12, verse 25. It says, he that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it until eternal, until life eternal. So, you know, these are some very uh, powerful, controversial words that Jesus Christ spoke. To tell people to hate their lives. In this world what does that mean what was the Lord really saying to uh, his disciples what is he saying to his disciples today when he's he's telling us to hate our lives in this world you see when you are filled with the Holy Spirit you learn and you come to know that the things in this world, the things in this life, they don't mean anything. What do I mean by that? I mean that your education, your career, your, um, your money, everything, your possessions, um, your dreams, your ambitions... Everything that you've been uh, taught since you've been born, uh, things that you're seeking after, what do you, what the things that you think will fulfill you, all of these things mean nothing. They are all passing away. And what Jesus is teaching is that in order for us to know him, just like Paul said, you know, all of the things that he had accumulated all of the knowledge and, and uh, the teachings that he had. He counted them as dung, as nothing. And we must do the same. We must hate our lives in this world. We must uh, turn from uh, placing our hopes and dreams and all that, you know, we love and adore in this world and start to... Because when we come into the kingdom of God, then that is our world now. We're no longer of this world. We're no longer of the kingdoms of this world. We no longer have our passions and desires in these places anymore. Now our dreams 
and ambitions and hopes and loves are all in Christ. All of them. So anybody who is saying that they love uh, anything of this world, if they, you know, their career is important and they, they, they uh, are laboring to expand their career and to, to go further in their career, and that's important to them. These people are deceived. You have to lose your life for Christ's sake. You have to give up and forsake all that you have for his sake. And that is the truth. And, and most people, you know, just like Jesus said, he said, you have to count the cost. Count the cost because it costs you to be his disciple. And, and most people are not willing to pay that cost because they love this life. They love their life in this world. They want that career. They want to chase after those dreams. They want the things that they've been planning since they were little kids. But once you taste of the heavenly gift that Jesus Christ uh, is willing to give to us If you taste of that heavenly gift That heavenly gift If you uh, You know taste of the Holy Spirit And, and, and uh, Experience The goodness and the love of God You will come to realize that The things of this world Are not the treasure that you need That these things are Empty and that he is the true treasure. He is life itself. He is the one who created all of the things that you enjoy. All goodness and all love. All majesty is in Jesus Christ. And those that follow him. Those that truly want to be his disciples. You have to be willing to give up everything, to lay everything down that you might have the knowledge of Christ. And uh, in this world today, Christians are not being taught this in the churches. In the churches, it's just a, a easy grace gospel. You just believe in Jesus Christ. You just confess your sins and you are saved. But there's so much more to the gospel of Jesus Christ. He, he came to show us the way to lead us out of condemnation, out of destruction by hearing his words and putting them into practice by trusting in Jesus Christ because a lot of people say that they trust him. But when, he, when they read words that he said like this, then, you know, it, is your trust real or is it not? Because Jesus said a lot of hard sayings that people just don't want to read. They don't want to uh, try to understand what it is he was saying. You know, plucking out your eye, cutting off your hand to, uh, you know, if, if these things are causing you to sin. What do these things mean? Because it, it's so much more. Than a, a weak belief. You know a, a, a belief of demons. Even the demons believe and tremble. But we have to do the sayings of Jesus Christ. To be his followers. To be his disciples. And his disciples they give up their lives. And, and, and uh, they... Labor for the things of his kingdom. So many people are wasting their efforts, you know, putting all of their effort into the things of this life. The things that they selfishly want for themselves, their educations and, and their, uh, their uh, careers and you know some people start businesses and they they put so much sweat and tears into these things that are going to pass away that don't mean nothing but you should be laboring 
You should be working for the kingdom of God. You should be working and putting your sweat and tears into building a, a, a relationship with Jesus to be sure that you are in the faith and that you remain in the faith. Remain steadfast. And doing the good works that the Lord calls us to. Because in the end, that is all that will matter. When you stand before Jesus Christ, that is all that is going to matter. That's all that's going to hold merit. Is what you did for his sake and the kingdom's sake. I hope that you can hear these words today because most people will not. I've been called false teacher and I've been called a heretic because simply because I believe <clears throat> the Holy Spirit, simply because I believe the words that Jesus spoke and I believe that we should do them. I believe that we should actually follow his teachings, what he said. I mean, how crazy is that, that people... Say that they love Jesus Christ and they trust him, but they don't trust his words. Be blessed.